Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, September the 9th. I'm just on my balcony here. Uh, I'm looking at my buddy pole antenna. Today we're going to look at the RTL SDR for HF operation. Uh, it's a pretty gloomy day in Toronto. I feel like Macbeth on the uh, castle of Elsinore looking out into the Danish countryside. Anyways, um, that's the antenna we're going to use. Uh, it's connected to an RJ RG58U cable which goes inside and will hook up to the receiver. Just out of interest, this is my uh, ATSC antenna which I've got aimed at the CN tower. So let's go inside here. And so what we're looking at here is the RTL SDR hardware. This is the first version of RTL that I got about six or seven years ago. And um, it's a USB stick, it plugs into the laptop USB. There's the antenna, and the antenna has what's called a CMX connector. It's a little bit different type of antenna, and it goes to a little whip antenna. Normally I disconnect this, and I connect this to a long alligator, uh, string of alligator clips to get more reception. So that's the first uh, SDR. Now what we're gonna look at today for HF reception is we're going to look at this guy here. This is a Hammett Up Nano uh, converter. So what it does is it takes the low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency bands and it up converts it by 125 megahertz. Now when you get the converter it comes with, with hardware. It's, it's got SMA connectors on both ends so you get a barrel connector. This is the second version of RTL SDR. And instead of an S a CMX connector, it's got an SMA connector. So that's how I connect it to here. This guy needs power, so when you get the unit, it comes with this cable here. This has a micro USB on one end, and it's got a sort of a DC type of barrel connector on the other end. What I use is, um, this, uh, this I got at the Toronto Film Festival. Um, I wasn't able to sell my script on my adventures in Brazil, but I was able to get this. This is a backup battery for a cell phone so this is the micro USB that goes uh, into the up converter and this you can just plug into your computer into it into the USB port to get power for it I also use this here which is a um, uh, an SMA to BNC and I connect a little whip antenna on there so that's uh, th that's the hardware we're going to use so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect all this up connect it to the buddy pole antenna and we're going to look at um, we're going to look at the simulation of what an up converter, how the simulation looks, and we'll look at some off-air reception. Okay, so I'm looking at my blog post here uh, for the RTL SDR for HF 0 to 30 megahertz. That's just a picture of some of the equipment we've looked at. That's the first generation with the CMX connector for the antenna. This is the Hammett Up Nano Converter. There's the barrel connector between the two. This guy doesn't have the bias T. So you'll need a power connector. This is the one supplied with the DC barrel connector. And if you want to go to a USB connector, you'll have to have a micro USB on one end and the standard USB on the other. So you'll need a slightly different cable. Um, this is a, just a picture of the setup in the field, the same picture, uh, same setup I'm using right now. Uh, I've, got, um, I've got my buddy pole connected directly to this SMA to BNC connector here. And I've got this particular uh, micro USB to USB power and a Sabrent uh, USB extender. And there's my RTL SDL with a barrel connector there. And it's connected to the USB as well. Uh, if you look at the uh, data sheet for the um, RTL SDR uh, converter, up converter, this is what you get. Uh, there's your RF input, it goes through a low pass filter. The uh, bandwidth of the converter is stated as 100 kilohertz to 65 megahertz. So that would be a band pass, that would be a low pass filter probably at 65 kilo, a million megahertz there. There's your 125 megahertz local oscillator. So it bumps everything up by 125 megahertz. And this filter here picks off the USB and there's your output. There's a picture of the mixing process. Let's say this is the low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency bands let's say from 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So what happens when you multiply by 125 kilohertz? Remember that when you multiply two signs together, you get the sum and the difference. So this whole bandwidth gets bumped up here. It's added onto 125 megahertz, that's the upper side band. And then it's inverted for the lower side band and it's 125 megahertz minus all of that. Now this filter here 
presumably uh, picks up the USB here. Um, this is a psycho simulation, which, which I've run just for fun. Um, let's look at that. So there's the block diagram. What I've done here is uh, I'm looking at an AM signal. Let's say AM640 in Toronto is an AM station. So I've got a sign generator at 640 kilohertz. And I'm going to multiply it with uh, an information signal at 10 kilohertz. Okay, so I'll get 640 kilohertz plus or minus 10 kilohertz. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up with uh, 125 megahertz. So let's just look at that. So there's my AM, 100% AM modulation of a 640 kilohertz carrier wave with a 10 kilohertz tone. Uh, that's what the spectrum looks like for AM modulation, 100%. There's my carrier at 640 kilohertz. There's 6, 650 kilohertz, 640 plus 10, and 640 minus 10 is 630 kilohertz. And there's the, um, that's what the mixer output looks like in the time domain, and that's what the mixer output looks like in the frequency domain. So there's 125 in the center here. Notice there's no carrier 125. You've got the 640 carrier sitting on top of 125 at 125.64, and then you've got the 64 kilohertz carrier lower side band 125 minus that. Okay, so that's um, that's basically how the mixing process works. Those are your diagrams. Now let's look at the actual operation here. So I'm going to go into SDR Sharp, and we'll put the volume on. Notice in the shift, you have to subtract 125 megahertz from your readings, right? Because you've shifted everything up by 125. Okay, you ready? So what we're doing here is we're looking at AM 640. Wednesday. Okay. I'm already a step that's ahead from yesterday's 40. show. We're uh, if you were with us this time uh, yesterday. I thought it was Monday. Now. Albeit only for 10 seconds. I feel like so what else we can find? We're going up in the AM band, you can see there's a lot of signals there. There's another signal. The things that he's done. Craig, we'll get into a little bit more. The key by the priest. It's a really powerful signal. 1350. AM There's a pretty strong signal. Let's see what that is. I think that's a RTTY signal. RTTY. There's no limit to the number of things you can listen to in the HF bands. There's all sorts of signals. Right now it's the middle of the day, so it's not that active. An AM signal. It's a short wave signal. Sounds like World Harvest Radio. Let's keep going here. In India, on Airtel, DD Direct. Dish TV, Reliance, and Tata Sky on Sadhana TV, as well as Geo and all cable network. On D-Dish Satellite TV in Inner Mongolia. Play Lasser on...